Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a bit of growth. Um, been running around doing stuff and I've got a week. Canned, well, actually the, the very last shave video that I uploaded, that was the last time I shaved. So it's all going to come off today. And for it, not going to be using a safety razor, as you can see if you're familiar with them, you'd know by the uh, name or the caption in the thumbnail or in the title of the video. But in this shave, it's going to be a straight razor, and it is this one, the Ace of Spades 76. A um, guy named Frank Herter was the guy that made it in Salingen, Germany. And if you're not familiar with uh, some, uh, with the name, um, but you're familiar with the name of um, Sheffield, England, where so many straight razors such as Wade and Butcher and, and others were made. Um, basically, Salingen, Germany was the kind of the um, um, Sheffield of, you know, was kind of their version of Sheffield, England. Anyways, so let's take a look at what else we're using. The brush is this, my 26 millimeter um, Fanchurian, because it's a Manchurian, shaped like a fan, and it's fan, so it's kind of squished up. But this is a Grizzly Bay brush. The knot is 26 millimeter. Um, finest Badger, or Manchurian Badger, I mean. And as you can see, it's the Grizzly Bay coin in the bottom. Really dig this handle. The soap I'm going to be using is one that a lot of people like, um, the company, and let me get it, where'd it go, there it is, I don't know if I'm holding it up the right way, but it's Sterling's Barbershop, absolutely amazing scent, I like barbershop scents, this is an amazing one, I don't have the matching splash, this was a soap included from Dennis in one of the boxes he sent me. Um, but I do have this one here. This is Razor Rock Blue Barber Shop, and it smells really good. The soap is phenomenal as far as the scent goes. Um, not heavy, heavy, um, on scent but it, it's good no let me move that all right now i swear it won't break anyways i went ahead and i put some soap in my black and silver lather bowl i got from my brother as you can see i'll sit there and i'll break and i'll go ahead cut away and then i will go ahead and um whip this up into a lather and then i'll be back in a sec Got a nice lather going. That's gonna be good. Oh, went ahead and cut away for a sec so you guys didn't have to hear the water. Anyways, gonna wet the face, um, take the razor to it. I already stropped it. So um, 20, 20 laps on the fabric and 40 laps on the leather with my Razor Emporium horse hide strop, two piece strop horse hide and canvas drop I mean anyways be back in a sec okay so uh, face is wet go ahead I really like this brush feels wonderful on the face I got it um, on one of the wet shaving buy and sell trade groups uh, wet shaving enablers by sell and trade actually along with um, a that darn Rob if you're not familiar he now calls himself chisel face I mean not chisel face um, chisel and hound um, Rob Moffat um, his father Bobby Moffat he has Sawdust Creations where he makes brushes and uh, I've got a really nice um, Fanchurian Badger um, 
brush from him um, or made by him. I got it at the same time I got this, which at the same time I also ended up getting a um, birth year Black Beauty. There we go. Um, right, right year on the date code, just wrong quarter. But yeah, and uh, and a Matador precision razor, and I'm not talking the Matador that most people are familiar with. It's actually a. It was a Swedish company that made the precision back in like the 1930s. Anyways, so go ahead, take the razor, clip it out. Anyways, here we go. Stop the razor. Wipe it. Nope. Drop my soap dish. Hang on, guys. Anyways, end up knocking over my soap dish. My mark knocked it into the sink. I got uh, my 1956 Gillette red tip. So, My brother took me recently, oh well, my brother and my niece, um, took us to a, took me to a concert of the only all-female tribute band of the 1980s rock uh, band. Uh, well, they still tour, but Iron Maiden. They're called um, the Iron Maidens. And uh, if you're, if you listen to Alice Cooper um, and see that his latest guitarist, lead guitarist is a female, she was actually the guitarist for Iron Maidens. It's not like we went and saw them at a big huge stadium. Um, they played at a little brewery, brewery here in where I live, and um, it's a pretty solid all-female band. Switch hands with the straight. The um, oops, edge of my blade. Yeah, this much growth, I really like taking it down with a straight.
Ain't got to worry about something clogging and anything close. Oops, missed a little spot right there. I bet you the inside of my sink looks gross right now. Um, that much with the, all those whiskers in the bottom. Oh, one little spot right there. If you're new at this, don't do what I'm doing. Um, Cause it's pretty, pretty slick soap. I mean, you can if you want, but. I know that <laughs> rinsing off the blade, I mean, holding the blade the way I just did is not the way a lot of these, you know, people at Wet Shave would recommend you hold it, but it works for me. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna reach over the noggin. Oh. The hollow, I believe, is full, and uh, the size of the blade is eight eighths. And the point is a round point. Hope I didn't booger up my stash. Takes me longer to do a straight shave, but in the end, it's worth it. I'll probably just do the second pass with the red tip. Another cut above, he's back. If I remember correctly, his name is Chris.
so many whiskers, so gross. Feels like little spider legs, legs when they touch my face. Okay, All right, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off here and be back in after I rinse off for the second pass, which I'll be completing with my red tip. Be back in a sec. All right, I went ahead and I uh, rinsed off and dried my razor, my straight. So let's go ahead and I re wipe my face. So let's go ahead and let's dive her up to the second pass. It's been a while since I've used one of my straights. So Oh, I'm feeling real comfortable with doing my inverted pass tonight, so. I need to actually, uh, what do you call it? Take time to do a whole couple of months, a month or two straight, of just straight razor shaving. Nineteen fifty six, second quarter, Gillette, red tip, TTO Super Speed. Um, it's called the um, HD. Oops, hang on. I gotta put my blade in it. All right, guys, the blade I'm gonna put in to my red tip is a Shark Super Chrome. Um, I really do like these blades. They're probably, oh, I don't know, one of my top fives, definitely. Ended up dropping the razor, got knocked down, landed in, in the damn sink. So, all right, guys. So, here we go with the Against the Green Pass with the Gillette 1956. Um, I believe the date code is B2, Gillette Red Tip. Against the growth, of course. As you can see, I'm not really concerned with the big old thick, fluffy lather, or big voluminous lather. Yes. It's a very, very smooth shaving razor. On the Shark Super Chrome is on its first use. about using one of my stainless razors. Wasn't sure which one. And I thought, well, there's gonna... All right, it's a lot of growth. So I'll just freaking, what you call it, straight razor it off. Days and spades. Night, uh, my girlfriend's brother's over. There's a couple of tri-tip roast, 
in the oven right now. So a bit of a difference. Oh, by the way, happy 4th of July to everybody. Or, I hope you all have a happy 4th of July. And 31st, go for my A-lift, my back surgery. It's going to be nice. Once I heal and some of these issues is gone. My son's in there with his mom and his uncle in the living room watching Spongebob memes. Our little kind of fandom type things. soap right there. Anyway, so let's go ahead. Um, pretty good. Pretty darn good. thing. Uh, oh, there's a little spot right there. I get less nicks from the straight razor than I do a safety razor, but once in a while I uh, go in a little bit too steep and it like smarts after I'm done when I put on the alum. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to rinse off uh, shave my head. I'll be back for the post here soon. See you in a sec. All right, guys. Face is good. Maybe not 100%, maybe, but smooth in, there, in a couple areas, but it is damn close. Let's take a look at what I used. Oh, in my head, I shaved it with my tr Leaf Triple Blade re Razor with three half shark super chromes. Anyways. The straight razor I used was the Ace of Spades. The bone, the handle, or scales as they're called, are 
bone. Uh, I imagine they just soaked them in something to make them black. And as you can see, it's got the little inlaid Ace of Spades symbol, or the Spades symbol. Absolutely wonderful razor, the um, Ace of Spades number 76. Absolutely love the razor. It's got some jimping, jimping up here on the top, which is these grooves and underneath on the tang. That way you can go ahead and you can hold it without it, you know, slipping, or for a little bit better grip, I should say. And the blade is 8 eight eighths, full inch, uh, full hollow, round point. The brush is my Grizzly Bay 26 millimeter um, brush, a Manchurian Badger, uh, Fanchurian Badger, because it is a fan knot. The lather bowl was my black and silver lather bowl I got from my brother. And the second pass was done with my B2 1956 Gillette Red Tip HD Razor. Now let's go ahead and let's get the post shave in. I'm gonna use up the last of the witch hazel in this bottle. Ace of Spades mowed through quite a bit of growth. And the post shave, I mean the um, shaving balm is Everyman Jack. Everyman Jack lotion. One moment, and I'll rinse off my hands. Um, um, oh, yeah. And the aftershave, considering it was Sterling's Barbershop, I don't have that aftershave, but I do have Razor Rock Blue Barbershop Aftershave. Or Barber, yeah, Blue Barbershop Aftershave. Or Barbershop, I'm not sure which. Oh yeah, that's 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 nice. That is really nice. And for the new guys and gals, if you're new to as a subscriber and you're not been you haven't been in this uh, type of wet you haven't been a traditional wet shaver for very long. Um, some guys put on the witch hazel aftershave, then the bomb. Some put it witch hazel, bomb, then aftershave. That's what I prefer, as you can see. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Once again, hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July. Thank you, everybody, for joining me um, for this video. Um, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. My, um, if you need to get in touch with me via email, just click on the about section and then you can go ahead and see that. Anyways, y'all have a good one and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.